Well, we know Amber Heard isn't living with her ex Johnny Depp anymore, that's for sure. Currently, the actress is starring in one of the biggest roles of her life, the highly publicized trial against her A-list ex-husband, and these days she's living on her own with her baby daughter, which he welcomed via surrogate in 2021. While it's a little bit of a mystery where Amber lives these days, she and her estranged ex once lived in a penthouse in an art deco building in downtown Los Angeles. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Amber Heard is an actress who has appeared in a number of television series and big budget movies, probably best known for her role as Mirren Aquaman. Well, actually, we all know what Amber Heard is best known for, at least right now. After all, it's unfolding on YouTube and social media. Amber versus her former husband Johnny Depp is basically this decade's version of the OJ trial. Now, one of the primary battlegrounds where a ton of drama unfolded between these two is hitting the real estate market. That's right, the luxurious Gold Coast mansion where Johnny Depp lost his finger during a reported argument with Amber has gone on sale just in time to capitalize on the couple's high profile defamation trial. This is also the very home where these two broke Australian laws by smuggling their Yorkshire terriers into the country. We'll also look at one of LA's most breathtaking designed buildings to learn all about the penthouse complex that Amber once lived in that was actually Johnny's. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and in this one we're seeing the former homes of Amber Heard. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In March of 2015, Amber and Johnny rented the home of MotoGP world champion McDoohan, a property located in the Oceanside city of Gold Coast, Australia. This is where Depp was set to film the fifth entry in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. This 10 bedroom, 10 bathroom riverfront property is known locally as Diamond Head and sits on 40 acres of land along the Coomera River, boasting some spectacular coastline views. Johnny and Amber probably selected this place because the interior of the home is a marvel, boasting stylish design choices like a timber staircase, polished marble floors, as well as sandstone and limestone fixtures. There's also an incredible selection of rooms. For instance, there's a spacious office with an accompanying lounge that offers scenic views to provide the necessary inspiration when trying to get a little work done. Then there's the mammoth kitchen that features stunning marble counters tops as well as island bar seating. Meanwhile, the nearby dining room is the definition of luxury with coffered ceilings that provide a special kind of aesthetic for any dinner party. As for the master suite, it's got everything you could possibly want. Plenty of space in the bedroom, a private terrace just outside, an ensuite made of marble, an enormous walk-in closet, and best of all, a built-in cinema as well. Of course, if you're looking for something a little more active than just simply watching a good movie, you could also check out the stellar game room included on the premises, and this spot includes table tennis, pool, and even its very own drum kit. The property also has its own fully equipped gym. Other amenities include an outdoor kitchen, a gigantic outdoor pool, tennis courts, elevators, go-karts, dirt bikes, and even its own helipad. Last, but certainly not least, the home also includes a show-stopping bar, otherwise known as the scene of the crime. Over the past couple of years, Depp has remained adamant that heard a attacked him while they were staying in Australia by throwing vodka bottles at him and severing one of his fingers. Well, according to Johnny anyways. She then grabbed that bottle and, uh, and threw that at me. Whatever actually happened, the Diamond Heads property manager was on the scene shortly after the incident, and he would confirm that when he arrived on the scene, Amber was crying hysterically. After Depp was taken to the hospital, the property manager searched for his severed finger. During the sweep of the home, he discovered that the property was badly damaged throughout, stating that he found glass shards blood drippings, a shattered bar top, and a broken ping pong table, all of which totaled more than $50,000 in damages. Yes, so I walked down the stairs, uh, and there was a bit of damage down the steps, that a big chunk had been taken out of the marble staircase. Um, on my way down, remnants of what looked like a plant pot or something around it smashed. Walking down into the bar, I could see the damage that Dr. Kipper had told me about. 
The house manager was eventually the one to find Johnny's finger directly below the bar, wrapped in some blood-stained paper towel. He also said there were puddles of what smelled like alcohol surrounding the finger. Thankfully, they were able to get Depp's finger back to him in time for reattachment. Following this entire ordeal, it was recommended that Amber head home to LA. Upon arriving back, she would have then headed to stay at her and Depp's penthouse in West Hollywood, where they once called home. After tying the knot in February 2015, Depp and Heard primarily lived in Depp's downtown LA penthouse complex, located in the Art Deco Eastern Columbia building. Originally built as a department store in 1930, this gorgeous building boasts a distinctive turquoise terracotta exterior with blue and gold trim. It was also allowed to exceed a city enforced height limit with its large clock tower that's visible from immense distances. In fact, that very clock tower is located directly above the homes of Johnny Depp. That's right, I said homes as in plural. During Depp and Heard's recent defamation trial, it was revealed that Depp has owned five separate penthouses on the top floor of that building between the years of 2013 and 2016, all of which were allocated to different people. In one of the penthouses, Depp allowed a good friend named Isaac Baroche to stay while he and Amber lived in the unit right next door. In fact, they even shared a balcony together. To round out the other rentals, her sister Whitney lived in one of them, while friends of the couple lived in another. The final suite, Depp transformed into an art studio for himself. Three of these units were directly connected to one another through doorways as blueprints for the homes would show during the trial. All five of the properties were adjacent to the building's rooftop pool and offered hardwood floors, tall ceilings with mezzanine levels, industrial looking staircases, as well as modern kitchens. In terms of the interior design, Depp's homes are said to boast colorfully decorated bohemian themed bedrooms, art deco bathrooms, and flourishes of color throughout. At first, this little arrangement was basically paradise as Isaac himself would attest to during his testimony. You were rent free in, in penthouses for a number of years and now you've been rent free ever since in Switzer? That's, that's a nice friend. But then on May 21st, 2016, things went off the rail. This is the night that Depp allegedly hit Heard in the face with his phone. When Isaac arrived on the scene later that night, he admitted to seeing shards of broken glass in the hallway and spilled wine. The next day, he says that Heard had changed all the locks in the penthouses that her friends and family used. So, properties one, three, and five. That same year is when divorce proceedings began, and Amber demanded that Depp allow her and her family members to continue to live in his three penthouse apartments rent free. Ultimately, however, Amber would withdraw her request for spousal support. Then in September of 2016, Depp put all five units up for sale. It's unclear exactly where Amber Heard's living right now, but once all this drama finally gets sorted, I'm sure that news will unearth itself in due time. For right now though, that's going to bring this video to a close. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Amber Heard's former homes in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram to check and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.